hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about data step if then versus proc sql case when statements and in here to understand this i have a sample data set have in which i have two variables name and age and i have five observations in this data set now first let's start with if then statements if then statements are conditional statements what do i mean by that is if the condition is true whatever you are trying to ask it will give you that particular result now in here i am using the data set created in here and then i am saying if age equal to 10 then group equal to 1 and if you look into this data set for this particular observation the condition is true and a new variable group is created and it will have the value of 1 now let's also write one here and to understand this more clearly now we have else if wherein we are saying if age is greater than or equal to 20 and age is less than or equal to 30 then group equal to 2 now group will have the value of 2 for next two observations because this two observations satisfy this condition or they are true for this particular observation now we have else group equal to 3 whenever we say else it means remaining all the observations which were not captured before and these two observation will get the value of 3 so what happens when we have an if statement it will look into all observations and then what it does is whatever the condition is satisfied for a particular observation the new variable will have that particular value but when we say else if what it will do is it will not look into this observation anymore it will look into the remaining four observations and whenever the conditions are satisfied it will get the value of two for this group variable now else is for remaining all the observations now let us quickly run our code initially let us create this data set and also have our if then statements along with the proc print of this data set once we run our code we can see our result in here this is pretty much what we have expected now let us talk about case when statements and do a comparison with if then else statement in the proc sql the case when statements are very similar to if then statements now let us try to understand by comparing both of them in the case statements what will happen is we have case and end as a variable we do not have variable again and again defined as in if then statement and if you see here the code is very similar in the case of if i have when and then age equal to 10 then 1 instead of writing group equal to 1 then i have said then 1 so if you see this is very similar to our if then statement in here now here we don't have else if here but the way the case when statements are defined is the first one is if and remaining else is else if which means this is pretty much our else if but this is equivalent to this one and pretty much the code is very same to what i have shown you in here now else is pretty similar and again i say else 3 as i said to you we don't have to define the variable again and again we define only once as we have shown you in here to sum it up a case when statements how they look is the first when statement is if the remaining whens are else if and else is same in both of them now let us quickly run this and also do a proc print in here i am also creating a data set so i am proc printing the same now when you see the result result is pretty similar to what i have shown you now why i have taken this topic is for one particular important reason let's go ahead and look into that now again what i am doing is i am changing my code little bit i have the same data set which i am using in the set statement i have pasted the same in the comment just to see while we are discussing about the code here i am saying if age equal to 10 then group equal to 1 and then instead of writing else if i am writing again if so what happens in this kind of scenario as i said to you 
every if looks into all the observation now I have said if a is equal to 10 then group equal to 1 then what happens is this gets 1. Now here again I have said if age is greater than or equal to 10 then age is less than or equal to 30 then group equal to 2. As I said to you if looks into all the observation it again goes back and looks into all the observation as I have said age is greater than or equal to 10 this observation is also satisfied we have made the group equal to 1 here but it is overwritten here and age is less than or equal to 30 condition we have so all of these observations get to the else get the value of 3 because I am saying else group equal to 3. I just had made a little modification just to show that if we do multiple ifs what will happen the values will be if the condition becomes true. Now I can do this proc print along with running this data step and see our result. In here you can see that this particular observation value has been overwritten for the value of group for the variable group. Now this is very important because as I said to you the case when statement the first when is if the next when is else if even if I had put this condition greater than or equal to 10 and age is equal to less than or equal to 10 what it will do is as the first if statement has captured this value 1 it never looks back into that particular observation but next when we look into remaining four observation and these two conditions satisfy so this will get the value of 2 whereas else will give the value of 3. The important point to know here if we are doing multiple if they will not be equal to our multiple whens because if looks into all the observations over and over again how many ever time we write but when statement looks all the observations for first when but for remaining whens it does not look into all the observations it pretty much acts like else if statement. So this is one difference I want you to understand. I have also made a very detailed video on if then else compared to multiple ifs have a look into that video also and link for the same I will give in the description below. That's all for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you.